Hey, wine lovers. If you drink white wines like Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, and Sauvignon Blanc, but you're kind of in the mood for something a little different, I've got something to suggest. This is Gruner Veltliner. Ever heard of it before? It's actually Austria's most important grape, and it's autochthonous to Austria, which means that it's indigenous to the region. The grape itself came into existence over 2,000 years ago when two local varieties cross-pollinated. But it didn't become popular until after World War II when the demand for wine started booming in Austria. Today, Gruner Veltliner covers about 36,000 acres, mostly in the northeastern region of the country, which is confusingly called Niederösterreich, which means Lower Austria. The name itself translates to the green wine of Veltlin, which refers to a region in the Italian Alps that is today called Valtellina. And you can see here, just by looking at it, it's got a pretty green tint to it. So what does Gruner Veltliner taste like? Generally speaking, most wine lovers say that it's closest to Sauvignon Blanc. It can be very floral and perfumed on the nose with tart lime and kiwi. Some say there is a slightly green element to it, like celery or even grass. And one hallmark characteristic that's very contested, white pepper. The more ripe styles will feature citrus and stone fruit flavors and tend to be slightly more full-bodied. Gruner Veltliner is the kind of wine that is best served chilled. I would recommend even 45 degrees, which is pretty cold, and uh, it's just gonna hit you like a cool alpine breeze. <laughs> In the wine world, Gruner Veltliner has a nickname, Gru V. So if you wanna sound really savvy, that's the term you wanna use. Gru V is bracingly acidic, light and clean, which makes it super food friendly. And that high acidity and light body make it perfect for light starters, apps, and snacks. It's particularly delicious with whipped cheeses, fish, and shellfish. I could just eat oysters and sip groovy all day long. Gruner Veltliner comes in several different styles from light, tart, and lean to a little bit more creamy, which is made by exposing the wine to extended yeast contact. Uh, some newer producers even oak age their Gruner Veltliner. And in uh, certain places in the Germanic countries, it can be found in a sparkling version known as Zecht. And to finish on a high note, most Gruner Veltliner is affordable. Now the value price bottles come in anywhere from 10 to $12, but as this is becoming more popular, some of the higher quality versions are commanding around $20 a bottle. So that's the quick sip on Gruner Veltliner. Thanks for drinking with me today. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, you can put them in the section below this video. And for hundreds of videos like these about wine, spirits, and food pairing, be sure to check out the rest of my channel. I'll see you for the next new and interesting wine. Cheers. Mm -hmm.